Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about methods of bacterial growth measurement. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified. Growth is defined as the increase in cellular constituents and this can result in an increase in cell number or cell mass. Growth can be monitored by measuring cell mass or cell number. In bacteria, growth occurs in uh, different phases. So there are four different phases for uh, bacterial growth curve that is the lag phase, log phase, stationary phase and the death phase. Lag phase is called so because the growth is so much delayed in this phase because the cells are getting adapted to the new environment. So that's why it is called as the lag phase. Once the cells are adapted, they start to grow exponentially. So this phase is called as the exponential phase or the log phase. Once the nutrients are utilized, there is no add-on uh, nutrients in the media. So all the nutrients are used, used up by the bacteria and it reaches a stationary phase. Death phase is follows the stationary phase. So once the uh, uh, nutrients are depleted and the toxic products are accumulated in the system, bacterial growth curve enters the death phase or the decline phase. So it is important to measure the bacterial growth and it is useful in uh, various applications. Depending on the application, different method can be chosen. There are two main uh, methods, one uh, direct method and the indirect method. A direct method include uh, plate count, filtration, most probable number and the microscopy count and in indirect method it is turbidity, metabolic activity and the dry weight. So measuring uh, all these parameters will uh, help identify the growth of bacteria. One of the accurate uh, measurement for growth is the plate count. Here in this case the bacterial culture is diluted and uh, plated on a agar containing media. So the plating can be done by streaking or by pore plate method. Once the culture is plated, that need to be incubated for at least uh, overnight or even 24 hours for the growth to occur and the number of colonies that are formed in the plate is counted. Based upon the dilution, the number of colony forming units in the original sample can be calculated. Here in this case, only the viable bacterial cells are counted. One of the disadvantage is that uh, it takes almost 24 hours or more for the colonies to grow depending on the bacteria growth you are monitoring so it may take longer time. In plate count only the both streak plate as well as uh, power plate can be used. In power plate the bacterial colonies are play, uh, mixed with the agar containing medium at around 50 degrees and that is poured on the petri plate. So here the problem is that the bacteria which is sensitive to temperature will not grow in this case. So it is not useful for uh, culture that are sensitive to temperature. The other method of uh, bacterial uh, growth measurement is the filtration method. So in this case the bacterial culture or the media containing the bacteria is filtered and the filter paper is placed on a media in the petri plate for growth. Based on that growth we can identify the number of bacteria. So this is mostly used in the water samples where the concentration is required. Concentration, concentrating of the sample is required. The other method is the most probable number. So this technique is used mainly to measure the uh, bacterial culture that will not grow on solid medium. So the sample is diluted repeatedly and uh, inoculated on several growth tubes for each dilution point. And the number of colonies are counted from each positive tube. It's a statistical method and determines the 95% probability that uh, bacterial population will fall into a certain range. The other direct method is the microscopic count. So in this case hemocytometer kind of a slide can be used and a fixed volume of culture is added to that. So the slide will be having uh, different grids and the cells can be counted under the microscope. So the advantage of this technique is there is no incubation required. But the disadvantage is that uh, if you are looking for the growth of a motile bacteria uh, it is difficult to monitor in this case. The other indirect methods includes turbidity, metabolic activity and the 
dry weight measurements. Turbidity is most commonly used in the bacterial cultures. As the bacteria grows, the turbidity of the culture media increases. Uh, using a uh, spectrophotometer, optical density of the cul culture can be identified. A well-grown culture may require uh, dilution. The advantage is that uh, there is no incubation required like the one required for the plating, sheet plating or the pore plating. In this case, directly the cultured uh, media can be diluted and uh, checked on the spectrophotometer. Generally, OD600 is taken. Measurement of uh, OD600 nanometer is used for this purpose. The other method include uh, metabolic activity. As the bacteria grow in the media, they produce uh, certain byproducts or uh, other uh, metabolic compounds so the measurement of such metabolic products can be used for monitoring the growth the other method is the dry weight measurement the cells are centrifuged and the cell pellet is weighed in this case uh, it will not distinguish this technique will not distinguish the live and dead cells hope you are clear with this topic if you like the video please press the like button thank you